Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's a fun one. We'll be installing the G5 Tur Ultra and the G5 Bullet cameras, um, both here at my house. Um, so one of the cameras, the G5 Bullet camera, is going to replace an old Western digital security camera. And the G5 uh, Tur Ultra is actually a brand new camera to this house, I guess you could say. We'll be running an ethernet cable to it today uh, through the attic. And this is going to be running off of the ethernet switch that we put in the garage attic in the previous video. I mean, not previous video, a couple videos ago. Uh, we put a switch, a flex switch up in the attic. Um, you should check out that video, it's a really good one. So um, so yeah, that's what this camera is going to be fed from, um, but then the G5 Bullet camera is going to be out on the barn, kind of just replacing a camera that is already there. So should be a pretty fun video, uh, let's get started. Before this video begins, I do want to quickly mention that I'm now offering IT and network consulting. Um, I do a lot with Ubiquity, Free Radius, Proxmox, anything you can think of, it's all on my website. So go check it out and I look forward to working with you. So of course the first step is going to be opening the boxes of these cameras. This G5 Bullet camera is an older one. Um, it was tested June of 2024. Um, it's been sitting on the, my countertop for a while, um, but I'm finally getting around to installing it, uh, obviously in this video. So this is the G5 Bullet camera. Essentially, uh, it's just a standard um, camera, pretty much what you would expect from a Ubiquiti camera. This is the wall mounting plate that we'll be using in this video to kind of mount this up to the um, side of the barn. Should be pretty straightforward. Then the next camera we're going to be installing is the G5 Turret Ultra camera. Um, and this guy is a lot bigger and it's kind of an all-in-one housing. So you'll see we've got the cable up here at the top um, that's kind of wrapped around in this loom. Um, and then we've got some other packaging on the camera as well. Um, this camera, I believe, um, can be outdoor exposed, which means um, it's able to be out in the elements and it's perfect for this application because it may get windy um, and rainy and stuff at the same time, which would get moisture onto the camera. So you'll see this camera even does have the weatherproof um, enclosure for the cable. Um, and then the camera itself is actually just like all within um, the turret housing. So it's the camera itself is weatherproof and protected. The housing I don't think is, but um, obviously it's, it's fine. So. That's that, and then for the turret camera, we're going to be using this mounting plate that came in the box to mount it to the ceiling. Just like this right here, so you'll see there's a couple of screw holes that will go up into the ceiling, um, and the camera will screw onto that. I guess the enclosure of the camera will screw onto that. So for now, I'm just going to take the G5 Bullet camera with us, um, and that's going to get us started with the project. Like I said, it's just going to replace a Western Digital Security camera, so it should be a fairly easy replacement. Um, let's go do that now. So I apologize if you can hear the mower in the background, uh, but the camera is right up here behind me. You'll see it's kind of up there on the roof line, and that is the camera that we're going to be replacing today. Okay, so we are now up on the ladder. Um, I apologize for the sunglasses, it is pretty bright outside. So this right here is the Western Digital Security Camera that we're going to be replacing. It should be as easy as taking these four screws out on the device, um, pulling the camera out, and then from there, of course, we should be able to just mount the new camera up there. Now, it's probably not gonna be that easy, but I sure hope it is. So I'm gonna go grab a drill. Let's get this thing going. And we unfortunately dropped the last screw, but camera's out. So at this point, we should be able to pull on this cable and it should fit right through. So I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this. Essentially though, the housing for this cable from the old camera is kind of getting in the way. But thankfully, uh, this barn does have like an inside uh, exposed ceiling. So I am able to go in and kind of push, hopefully. And I'm really hoping there's enough slack on this ethernet cable because I did no prior research into beginning this project. And that would be highly unfortunate if this cable um, is too short for what we need. Also, unfortunately for me, uh, this area is up in the corner. But now the cable's long enough, and now I can get down. Oh yeah. So this is the old camera. Obviously it's what we're getting rid of in this video. Um, and now I'm gonna go down and get the new camera all situated. The thing with these cameras is they do only have two screw holes. So um, I'm, gonna have to, I'm going to make two new screw holes actually. Um, and it's gonna be this mount that I'll use. So there's two screw holes. I'm gonna have to make two new holes in the barn. So at this point, I, I do have good and bad news at the same time. Um, great news is the mount is up uh, and the mount is solid. Uh, I can't move it. The bad news is the mounting job, it's probably gonna make Ubiquity never wanna sponsor me. 
Um, but I guess that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make for this video. So, you pretty much just need to put this next piece on. Um, I usually find that it's easier to do it before you put the camera on. Um, and then, basically, you just take the cable, plug it into the camera, and then the camera does screw onto this mount as well. Just like so. And then I would screw the camera onto this mount first. I can't show you really well right now, but um, essentially, if you screw this onto the camera, that'll get nice and tight. And then you can screw that back to the base plate at the end. So unfortunately, because of the switch I'm using in the barn here, uh, I don't have any status on the PoE. It is a micro tick and I don't have the micro tick app on my phone. So um, we're just gonna have to wait for it to pop up at the bottom of the screen. But pretty much as soon as you, um, as the camera gets booted, it'll pop up right there at the bottom of the screen and ask you to adopt it. Um, pretty much right now, I'm just waiting for that to happen. Okay, so it turns out the cable was not actually plugged into the camera. Um, not sure what the heck I was doing there, but anyways, uh, we've got the camera showing up here at the bottom. We're going to click add and it's going to now adopt the camera. So you'll see, hopefully maybe, eventually it should pop up. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. Pretty much just some grass uh, is all that the camera is going to see. There you go. That's what the camera looks like. I'll put a picture on the screen. Essentially, that's all that we want to see on this camera anyways. We just want to um, make sure that there's nobody in the grass or whatever, or if somebody does come in the grass, we want to see that. Um, not that we care about the grass, but it's just surrounding the barn. I'm gonna go get this cleaned up. I'm gonna go position the camera, then we can move on to the turret camera. I'm excited. Now that camera one is done, we're moving on to camera number two. Um, like I said earlier, it is a G5 Tura Ultra camera. I'm going to go get the stuff ready. We're going to go run the ethernet cable for the camera. Um, and then we are going to be mounting the camera. So ethernet cable first, let's get started. This is the same garage we put the G5 Dome Ultra in. Uh, and the new G5 Tur Ultra is gonna go literally right on the outside. I have just pre-crimped the ethernet cable for one end um, because it's a lot easier to do it on the ground than it is to do it in the attic. So um, now that we have that ready, we should be ready to go into the attic, run the cable, and then we'll crimp it on the outside uh, over there once we are done. Okay, so we're back up here. I have plugged the cable in and we are just running the cable temporarily out there so we can make sure the camera is going to be in a good position. So now I'm going to hop down. Um, but I also do want to make sure before I get down that I can actually get up to where the camera is going to be going. And it looks like I should be able to, it's just gonna be a little tight. So we'll have to figure that out here in a little bit. So I've got the cable crimped on the other side now. I'm going to grab the camera, plug it in, get it adopted and stuff. And then we're going to make sure we want the camera to be in the spot that we think we want it in. Um, I just want to make sure that it sees everything that I want it to see pretty much. Um, and then we can go from there. And it should just be a matter of running the cable through the attic and then plugging it in on the outside. Like it really shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it's really interesting on the back of it. You'll see like the whole housing, not the housing, the whole inside part moves around um, to get move the camera. Um, the housing doesn't actually move just the inside, just the inside part to do. So I'm gonna stop recording so I can adopt the camera and then I'll check the position and we'll get this project done. We're back in the attic. It's about 70 degrees outside today. It's pretty warm uh, up here, but we got the cable ready to go. And now it's just a matter of running it over there to where we want the camera to be. It's a lot easier if I don't record this. So I'm gonna set my phone down, get the job done. We'll keep going. All right guys, so we have the cable here. We have both cables. I'm gonna tape it and he's gonna pull it through. This is what it looks like. We're in the corner of the attic. So with four screws, uh, the plate is now mounted on the ceiling. You'll see the hole in the middle, in the middle is a little small. Uh, this is because the inch and a quarter size that they recommend seems a little large. So uh, we're gonna try it without doing the inch and a quarter um, hole. Right here is the Dome Ultra, sorry, the Tura Ultra camera. And we're going to put it up in the ceiling now. So this is what the camera looks like on the final product here. You'll see the blue light is on. You can turn that off in the settings, uh, but it's nice and up there and it's locked in, screwed all the way in. Uh, and it looks really nice and really discreet as well. I think it turned out pretty nice. So with all that being said, that is a wrap on this video, guys. Um, I'm going to put some pictures and uh, screenshots of the cameras up on the screens. I think they look pretty phenomenal. The G5 turret uh, ultra camera looks absolutely amazing. Uh, better than I would have expected it to, to be honest. Um, this camera worked out great as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.